Hey, so today we're talking about the five personality traits of men who are least likely to break your hearts. Stay tuned. All right, I'm back. I had to have an emergency operation, but all is good now. It took a week for me to recover and I did a lot of Netflix and chilling, so now I'm just ready to get back into it. All right, so I'll get into the five traits right away. But I wanna preface this by saying nobody is perfect. And you know, at some point, people will disappoint you. People will break your hearts, especially those closest to you. I mean, we form all these closest, uh, these close bonds. You can't expect um, for them to not have any conflict. So, just as a caveat aside, people are going to disappoint you. But you know, if they're they're worthwhile, the friendship's worthwhile, you will make it work. And if not, some people are just meant to come into your lives for a couple of pages in in your life story and then leave and that's okay. Number one is empathy. You want a guy who's empathetic because people who have empathy always consider the other person's feelings before they act. So before they say something, before they do something, they'll always, always consider their impact on other people. And this is really important because when you're putting two lives, in, uh, when you're in a relationship, you're literally entwining two lives into one and sometimes you have to Oh, a lot of the times you have to consider the other person's feelings. That's a relationship. So empathy, really important in every relationship, friendships, um, your relationship with your family, love relationships. So that's definitely a skill to build. Number two is you want a guy who's communicative because relationships bring out a range of emotions in people. Um, sad, loneliness, neglect, but also a loved, feeling adored, feeling elated. Um, just feeling very full and nourished and you want someone to have these range of like those vocabulary and to know and to express how they feel right when they feel it so many t t times you get you witness these uh, arguments that could have been avoided had someone just communicated how they really felt so say for example you your boyfriend wanted to go out with his friends and it's the third week in a row that he's asked you and that he's gone out and you're feeling a little bit neglected you're feeling a little bit lonely that he hasn't prioritized the relationship instead of expressing to him and telling him these things that you feel lonely neglected and um you know that you're not you, you're underappreciated you lash out by you know saying you know, there's a third weekend in a row that you've gone up with the boys now he's thinking well i'm just going with my friends what's the problem but he doesn't understand that you've got you have all these emotions um that you haven't been able to communicate it goes vice versa with guys who have trouble expressing their feelings so someone who can tell you why the, the why they're frustrated and why they're feeling challenged can help you solve the problem a lot easier because they're able to express exactly what's bothering them. So number three, number three is patience because no relationship is perfect. Perfect. It's never going to go smooth sailing all the time. And you want someone who can be there, who has the patience to ride out the relationship, to work out the problems, to work out the kinks and find a solution. Um, and when things, when you're having a hard time, say, you know, tragic, a tragedy, a tragedy, tragedy struck, struck into your life, you want someone to be patient, um, to help you cope through the ups, the, the range of emotions that you're feeling, um, outside, outside of the relationship. So, and then number four, it brings me to my next point. You also want a partner who's realistic because no relationship is perfect, as I mentioned, and you want a uh, someone who has a realistic idea of what a relationship should be. So for example, um, I once dated a guy who thought every time, if there was conflict in a relationship, that it wasn't meant to last. So every time we get into a conflict, he'd question whether or not what we had was real. So you, you, all relationships have conflict and you want a guy who acknowledges that. Simple. Number five. So self-awareness is really important um, because it, in an argument, especially two people are contributing to a relationship and someone who doesn't have self-awareness will often shift the blame to the other. So someone who has self-awareness will always take ownership of their actions um, and they'll always reflect on how they contribute to a certain situation. So that's about five uh, personality traits of men who are least likely to break your heart. If you can find a man with five of these, he's 
likely to be a keeper. So if you have any uh, to add to the list, leave a comment and let me know. And if you want more videos like this, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.